this ceremony today, your presence today, and the support you give to veterans each day is a testimony to a community that remembers those who are serving and those who have served. Today, each of us made a choice to be here. It was the right choice. Today, we assemble together to honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we could come together today. Every Memorial Day, the words of Abraham Lincoln, spoken at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, on November 19, 1863, reverberate in my mind. It is for the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they have who fought have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us that from those honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause which they gave their last full measure of devotion that we here highly resolve that those dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God should have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. Today I would like to highlight the sacrifices of three recent Georgia veterans whose sacrifices make those words of Abraham Lincoln in 1863 just as applicable to this generation of Americans. This year, my home post, Post 105, Fayetteville, Georgia, lost a member, Lieutenant Daniel Collins. He died due to battle injuries of an improvised explosive device while serving in Iraq. Lieutenant Collins, as all members are special, but he was really special to many of us at the post because his father and mother are both retired military and both members of our home post. Lieutenant Collins attended Georgia Boys State in June of 2003, and Lieutenant Collins received an appointment to West Point. And I remember the night that our post honored him and other service members who were entering into the academies from our county with a dinner in May of 2004. Lieutenant Collins graduated from the United States Military Academy in June of 2008. He wanted to carry on a family tradition of military service to our nation. His vehicle, unfortunately, was hit with an IED in April of 2010. And our community, especially our veterans organization, and we have various veterans <coughs> organizations represented here today, met the returning soldier at the local airfield. They provided Patriot Guards escorts throughout the difficult days for the family. Flags were placed along the Lieutenant Collins' street and, and along all the route of the funeral procession. Right at this moment in Fayetteville, Georgia, a special tribute to Lieutenant Collins is being made at the local Memorial Day ceremony. In the words of President Lincoln, we should take increased devotion to ensure that these dead shall not have died in vain. The Collins family has sacrificed for our country. Remember them today, this Memorial Day 2010. So many people forget about the pride and sacrifices that our veterans have made and are still making for this country. An example of this pride is Private First Class Diego Regan of Conyers, Georgia. While serving in Iraq, PFC Ragon wrote his mother, whether I make it or not, it's all part of the plan. It can't be changed, only completed. Mother will be the last word I say. Your face will be the last picture that goes through my eyes. I just hope that you are proud of what I am doing and have faith in my decisions. I will try hard and not give up. I just want to say sorry for anything I have ever done wrong. And I'm doing it for you, Mom. I love you. 19-year-old Diego never made it home from Iraq, but we honor him today by honoring his request that he made to his mother. 
to be proud of what he did and to have faith in his decisions. While Memorial Day is intended to honor our fallen, we should not forget those who have pledged to make the sacrifice if called upon. An example could be Lieutenant Dan, Dan Brzezinski of Peachtree City. Lieutenant Dan has lost both his legs while serving his country. Many here today have visited our recovered, recovering wounded warriors at our Augusta BA. And I will tell you that is a very invigorating experience to be around those recovering heroes. Those warriors want nothing more than to return to their units. They don't complain. They're too busy working hard to recover. You might have seen the evening news last night. Lieutenant Dan has gone through extensive rehabilitation and he's up and he's walking with the aid of two crutches, but he can walk a quarter mile and he is so proud to be able to do that. Proud to say that Lieutenant Dan has been honored this weekend by his community. A motorcade and special ceremony was held again where Lieutenant Dan did not focus on himself, but he focused on selfless service to this nation and to his other buddies who are still recovering. A nation that forgets its veterans and their sacrifices is a nation that has lost its moral compass. Let us all dedicate ourselves to not letting this happen in our community, in our state, in our nation. In conclusion, I thank God for living in America. I thank those who have sacrificed their lives for our freedoms. I thank those of this generation who are willing to make the sacrifices of a Lieutenant Collins, a PFC Regan, and Lieutenant Dan. I thank you for doing the right thing today by your presence today. You are a visible display to the city of Dalton and Whitfield County that you remember those who have sacrificed for our nation and our individual freedoms. Men like First Sergeant John Blair of Calhoun, Georgia, who died June 20th, 2009 in Afghanistan, and Corporal Raimundo Morales of Dalton, who died July 21st, 2009 in Afghanistan. Both men who served in our Georgia National Guard's 48th Infantry Brigade. I want to especially thank those who are veterans and who still believe in still serving America. For those family members who have sacrificed while spouses, fathers, or mothers served in harm's way, you too should be honored for your sacrifice for our nation's freedom. I thank this community those who have planned and executed this ceremony for remembering Memorial Day 2010. May God bless each of you today. May God continue to put his blessings on our nation. As we depart here today, let all of us be a visible symbol to America that we do remember and shall not let our fallen warriors die in vain. Thank you very much.